Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. We're out here in the sunny, hot and windy Florida Keys. I'm out with Antonio, Vincenzo and Claudio and what a day today, hey guys? It's nice but windy. Very, very windy. That was what, 40 kilometer winds? It was relief from the heat though. Yeah, it, it was a bit of a break from all the heat because it's like 30, 31, 32 degrees out here but very, very windy and that limit us, limited us with our options uh, today for the fishing. Made a little tough, eh? Yeah, but we still did okay. We still did okay. We caught lots of little fish. We were catching bait fish there earlier, earlier on. And, um, and then I hooked into a little, uh, what do they call it, a puffer fish. On a, believe it or not, on a bucktail jig. You ever seen those puffer fish, folks? You, what they do is they puff up, eh, when you... Uh, when you grab them. When you grab them uh, and go to take them off the hook, they puff up like a balloon. It's a defense mechanism. But uh, we weren't doing any filming when we were catching those small fish. But uh, then I got my first, my very, very first, folks, Jack Crevel. And I'll tell you, pound for pound, wow. hey, what a fight. This saltwater fishing, folks, is unbelievable. The fish might be smaller, but they're a whole lot stronger. But this one feels pretty good. I have no idea what it is. He's staying down, he didn't jump. Oh, man, they're strong. Antonio. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Got the net. I don't want to break them off. Got to watch our drift, we're getting close to that bridge. He's under the boat. I still can't, I can't even muscle him. Oh, what on earth is it? Wow, it's strong. It's silver, it looks like. Oh, it's all silver. Looks like a Jack Crevel. That's exactly what it is. Wow. <laughs> what a fight on this Jack Crevel. Look at that. Wow. There we go, folks. My very first Jack Crevel right there now these aren't supposed to be i guess they're decent eating but not like spectacular but i've never tried one so we're gonna hang on to him and give him a try for dinner wow what a hit though hit <laughs> like a ton of bricks just on my oh big john bucktail jig and you know the good news folks in about two months time Thunder Miss Lure Company is going to have their own bucktail jigs. I mean, Big John will custom tie any bucktail jigs you want. But we're going to come out with our own flexi jig bucktails. And you know how much I love using bucktails. This guy's going in the box. Like you were having a battle? I had a battle. By the time we got the camera, and uh, it was quite an interesting fight. But uh, my very first one, I was happy with that. Caught another Jack Crevel, uh, another smaller one. And then uh, we decided to go out for grouper. And uh, Antonio, you uh, you have all the luck again. What we're using for bait? Grunt like me? Yeah, live grunt. This is what we're using for bait, folks. Live grunt. Okay. It's coming in now. You can get Where's the net. Where's the net? You want to hand me the net, Claudio? Oh, it's right here. It's not huge, but grouper. It's hey, black, it's a nice grouper. It's a black grouper. A black grouper? Yep. Boy, those grouper are not shy of those big baits, eh? Look at that. It's a beautiful fish. It's not a keeper, but it's a beautiful fish. And he came out of 10 feet of water. Oh, that's, that really is a nice fish. Look at the coloration on him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I had a bite. Oh, that's you right. Had a bite too. I something came and hit my uh, hit my grunt and just took a chunk out of the side. But you had about two, three, three, two or three fish. Two or three fish. Yeah. One one that we landed. Yep. Yeah. And then a nice um, snapper. Nice, a nice snapper. snapper. Right. What kind of snapper was that? Uh, Mangrove. Mutton. Mutton. Mutton, was called? mutton snapper. Yeah. It was undersized. We had to release them. And you had one hit. One hit. One grouper. One grouper hit. And uh, Claudia also had one grouper hit just 
didn't have a chance to do anything. He just grabbed his bait and ran, and that was it. <laughs> End of story. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in, and until next time, good luck and good fishing. It's not that big. I don't know, a 5-aught? Five 5-aught five hook, okay. Looks like something totally different.